Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashwa, the student studying in the IB program. And today I'll be going over how I use Notion as a read later system. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is what your read later system will look like once it is complete. So let's get right into how we do it. So to make it work, we require one extension, which is a Notion Web Clipper extension. To download that, you just have to go to the Chrome Web Store and search Notion Web Clipper and find one that is written by Notion.so. Basically what this does is that it takes all the content from videos or from an article and puts it into a Notion database. So if it's a video, they'll pick up that video and put it in there so you can play it in the Notion page. And if it's an article, they'll pick up all the pictures in the article and the text, but not the ads. So that's pretty good. So once you download it, let's just take a look at what happens in this particular extension. So let's say that I go to this particular thing. So what happens here is that you basically have all of your links so basically here you can put a text such as what you want a, like the page to be named as. So I can just put like my Notion page as a link. And then that will show up over here as the title. And on that, when I click on it, it'll open a page with everything inside of it. Now here I can choose where I want to save it, like my links database or task table, etc. So basically save it to a particular table or you can choose particular pages as well where you want to save this particular article. So that's pretty useful. Now let's just take a look at how it happens in the real world. So let's say you want to save this video and you haven't been checked it out, click the link which pops up on the screen right now so that you can check out what the note taking archetypes are. Let's get back to the video. So let's say that I want to save this video to my Notion database. So what I have to do is I have to click the Notion extension, the Notion Web Clipper. Then I get the article, like in this case it's a video. And along with that I also get where it's from as well which is quite useful. So over here it says from YouTube. And I can choose where I want to save it. And once I'm done, just click save page. Now you have an option to open this in the Notion app or just cancel out of this and just let it stay in that page and you can get back to it later. I'll just click open in Notion for now. When you click open in Notion, it opens that particular page and you can see the video has been embedded here as a YouTube video, which you can look at. And you have the link here as well. And you also have when it was created, which is another thing that I've done. Now the tags are quite interesting. So this is the next step in this read later system. So here I have a few tags which I've created which are useful to me. So here I can put something like it's from YouTube and it's a video. And it's for personal development. And it's quite useful and I'll show you why. So over here you may have noticed that there are a few pages up here and they all stem from these tags that I've created. So like over here for personal development, I get all of the articles or videos or whatever else I've found which have the tag of personal development, which is quite useful because it creates a segregation from which I can find articles much easier whenever I require them. So it's quite useful. Now the way that this works is you have to go into filter and then choose the tags option. So like over here, you have to choose which one you want. And as already chosen tags and I can't choose it again. So basically let's just delete this filter for now. So I do add filter tags and I choose which tags have to be contained in the tags column and it'll show up over here only. So I choose person development. I'll only see one step person development as you can see. That's really useful to me. And it is basically how this entire later system is created. So like videos will only come up here, which have the video tag. Articles, which have article in them will only come up here. So that's basically the entire read later system. And oh yes, before I forget, this is just a cover, which you can just take from Unsplash by searching whatever you want. So you can keep it as books as well if you want it to be that. So this is essentially my entire read later system in Notion. And if you have any questions, we can put them in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.